doing under there? I'm sorry. Oh, I must have rolled over on top of you when I was sleeping. But something else is poking me. I wonder what it could be. Oh, wow! Look at this! This has to be the biggest magnifying glass in the whole world! Oh, neat! <laughs> this is great! Now, it makes everything look really huge! <laughs> Whoa, Molly! You look really funny! This magnifying glass makes you look like you have a really fat head. How about me, Molly? Do I look really funny? See? Oh, it gives me a big nose. <laughs> oh, and my eyes. Oh, my eyes look huge. Oh, oh, and my mouth. Look at my mouth, Molly. Oh, I have a huge mouth. <laughs> hey. How about this? What does that look like, Molly? I look like a fish? Oh, guess I do kind of look like a fish with this big fishy mouth of mine. Glub, 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 glub. Gee, I wonder what it's like to be a fish. Hmm. Fish live in water, Molly. They just sort of swim around and float around, I guess. Hmm. And I don't feel very floaty, though. Maybe it's time to stretch! Molly, I still don't feel like a fish, but I sure feel more like me. So what do you want to do now, hmm? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Golf, anyone? Nah. Skipping? Nah. Ooh. An oar? What for? Violet. Oh, what's this? Hey, look, Molly, it's the letter J. Oh, and this gives me an idea. Hold on, watch this. Ta-da! It's a fishing rod, see? This is the rod, that's the string, and that's the hook. The letter J is the hook. We're going to go fishing! And we can use the oar to paddle our big, comfy boat. Okay. Safety first, one step at a time. Go. Let's see. Okay, Molly, see? I'm gonna make a life jacket. Before I go out on the boat, I have to have my life jacket on. So if I go in the water, I'll still float. Ah, there. So, what do you think of my make-believe life jacket? Would you like a life jacket too, Molly? Okay, let's see now. I'm sure we have just the perfect thing in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Just right. <gasps> okay. And here we go. Lift up the arms. And... There you go, Molly. Your very own 
pretend life jacket. And now, we're ready to go fishing. Oh, here you go, Molly. Up we go. Well, here we are, paddling along the shore of Lake Whatchamacallit. And I'm Lunette, the fishing beautician. Yep, that's me, the prettiest fisher on all of Lake Whatchamacallit, with the unsinkable Molly. The water's just a bit wavy, like this, up and down. And kind of wobbly, me, huh? <gasps> this is it, Molly. This is the most perfect fishing spot on all of Lake Whatchamacallit. Oh, let's go fishing. Oh, have to be careful. We're not supposed to stand up. Remember, we're on a boat. Oh. So what do you think we'll catch, Molly? A watermelon? <laughs> Molly, I don't think watermelons grow under the water. But, well, you never know. I hope we catch a fish. The best part about fishing is being with your best buddy and waiting for the fish. Mm-hmm. When you go fishing, you have to be patient. Patient? Oh, well, I guess it means not being in a big hurry all the time. And, well, being patient is learning to wait for things, things that you really want. And sometimes that isn't very easy. So I have a trick to being patient. Oh, do you want me to teach you my patience trick? Okay then. Hold on to this, Molly. Patience means you have to wait. Just touch your nose and count to eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Patience means you have to wait, even when the wait is long. Like, will your birthday ever come? Just count to eight and twiddle your thumbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's waving at your mom, hoping that you won't be late. Patience means you have to wait, something that I really hate. Just touch your nose and count to eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even when the wait is long. And that's the end of my song. <sighs> Patience. Mm -hmm. Be patient. what? I'm bored. I don't know about you, but this is getting very boring. <sighs> oh! Oh! Molly! Oh! I think we caught something! I think we caught a fish! Maybe the biggest fish in the whole world! It's... 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 a boot! A boot? We spent our whole day in this silly old boat just to catch a dumb old boot. Why am I glad this is make-believe? Uh, yeah. Hey, the doorbell. That means it's time for... Miss Lunette's Dance Academy. Oh, well, hello, Rover. How ducky. And boy, are you lucky, because today we're going to learn the pas de duck. Shall we, Rover? Ready? Now waddle. You can do it. You're a good waddler, Rover. But try to dance like me. Come on. Step attitude. Left. Come on, Rover. You're not really dancing. Left. 
That's all for today. Bye, Rover. Six, seven, eight. <sighs> hey, I wonder what's up with the Foley family today. Hmm, maybe they're having lunch. Yeah. Redhead, do you have a parcel for me today? Oh, hello, Lunette. Why, yes, I do. Oh, gimme. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 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 Gimme, 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 gimme. Are you finished? Yeah, I I guess so. Sorry, I guess I kind of got carried away. Kind of? Oh, I guess I should learn to be more patient. <sighs> Package for Lunette the Clown. Thank you. <sighs> oh, wait, I uh, almost forgot. This came with the parcel. Ah, postcard from my Auntie Macassar. Let's see what it says. This is a postcard of me standing on the beaches of the beautiful island of Itchy Witchy Way, just before monsoon season began. Oh, yeah, there she is standing on the beach. Hmm, oh, that's an awfully big wave. <laughs> sure is. I sent you some things which have made life on the beach a swimmingly sweet experience. Hope you have fun with them. Love from your Auntie Macassar. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Something from the beach. Well, it's an awfully large parcel. Ooh, maybe it's a submarine. Well, it's big, but I don't think it's that big a package. <laughs> I once delivered a submarine. A submarine sandwich doesn't count. Oh, neat. What are they? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a seal disguise. I don't think it's a seal disguise. You know what? I think they're for my feet. Let me just see. Slip this in. Yeah, that Ooh. fits. That fits. And try this one. That fits too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they feel weird. Oh, hey, this reminds me of my, my magnifying glass from home. <laughs> hmm, what else? Oh, now that looks exactly like the letter J, but what is it? Hmm, oh, look. Hey, these are instructions, Lunette. Gosh, 
All these things belong together. It's a diving outfit. Yeah, it's for going underwater. You lucky duck. Let's see. Um, oh, fins for your feet. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's a mask to help you see underwater. Mm -hmm. And that J thing, well, that's called a snorkel. I guess so you don't snort. Hmm. Oh, I see. It lets you breathe air underwater. Cool. Wow, you look great. I think I'm going to go swimming. Swimming? What? Swimming? I said, I think I'm going to go swimming. Hey, swimming. That sounds like fun. Well, I'd love to join you, but I got lots of parcels to deliver. <laughs> oh, hey. Maybe I can get in a little swimming, too. Hey, Lunette, watch this. Goodbye, Major Bedhead. And remember to look both ways before you swim across the street. Oh, I can't wait to try out this stuff that Annie McCasser sent me. I'm going swimming! Come on! Hey, Molly, look what I got. It's a diving mask and a snorkel and flippers, and I'm going to go swimming, and it's going to be so much fun, and we can... Molly, we can read a storybook any old time. But this is going to be fun. Going swimming is going to be so exciting. But with flippers and see? All right already. Oh, boy. Molly, you should have tried my patience trick. <sighs> OK. Here we go. The Adventures of Pearl Barley, Deep Sea Diver. Hey, this gives me a great idea. Come on, Molly, let's go. Here you go, Molly. Now, you sit there and look at the pictures while I tell the story from inside the bubble tub, okay? That way, Molly gets her story and I get to go swimming. Here we go. Down below the deep blue sea, there was a brave young girl who swam beneath the ocean waves, and her first name was Pearl. Her last name, it was Barley. Pearl Barley was her name, and she dove down even deeper, for the bottom was her aim. Once down upon the ocean floor, Pearl Barley took a walk. The fish were sort of friendly, but the octopus was not. The clams were very happy, and the starfish danced with glee. When Pearl Barley found an oyster that was taller than her knees, Pearl knocked upon the oyster. Is anybody there? The oyster opened right away. It had a gift to share. The gift was in the oyster, shining bright and round. Pearl Barley hauled the present out and put it on the ground. What is this, the young girl asked as she poked the gleaming ball. I don't think I've ever seen a thing like this at all. It's a pearl, said the oyster, and I made it just for you, because you came to visit me beneath this ocean blue. But the oyster pearl was heavy, so Pearl Barley could not swim. Then she gently put the pearly gift back inside of him. Please take good care of this for me, said our pearl girl to the oyster, and I promise I will visit you down in your land of moisture. Then Pearl Barley swam away, that plucky little swimmer, because she had to get on home, or she'd be late for dinner. Ooh! Ooh! That was really neat, Molly. Well, I went swimming, and I told a story at the very same time. Shall we go? Come on, Molly, let's get back to the couch. Here we go. <sighs> hey, look, Molly. This snorkel does look a lot like the letter J. Letter J. <gasps> hey! That's just what I was thinking. Let's play the alphabet game. Can you guess the letter of the day? Can you guess the 
have I got just the letter for you. Jumpin' jellyfish, it's a curvy one. Yeah. See if you can guess what shape I'm making with my body. Okay. What's that? The letter J? Yes! Yes, it's the letter J! Jump for joy, you guessed it! And jog, well, jolly good. Molly, did you know that your name rhymes with jolly? Neat, huh? There are lots of words that begin with J, like jumping jelly beans. Who made this big mess? I did? Oh, I guess I did. Well, that means I have to clean it up. And that means it's time for the 10 second tidy. Ready? Set, go! just keeps getting bigger and bigger every day. Molly, are you waving goodbye already? Molly, be patient. I want to say goodbye too. Sheesh. That's better. Please excuse Molly. She's just tired from a long day of fishing and swimming and... <gasps> oh boy, am I tired too. Mm. Okay, now you can wave goodbye, Molly. Thanks for coming by to visit. Sweet dreams. And the clown jumped over the moon. 